Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas. So, previously, we figured out that this is in the wrong biome, which is super annoying. Do I have to give this a redstone signal? I think I do. Right, that's going to go all the way down there. That is where I've set up. Now, I thought this might be the case. The rails that I've got right there are the redstone rails. Because I am comp well, I was completely out of regular rails. So I'm going to pick all of these back up. Oh, poop. Okay, I need that one. Gib. And then I will replace them. But that also gives me some time to go and put this. Come back. Thank you. Go put the cart assembly back down and we can move the spawner over to our new area that I have laid out. So you can see there's a, a big platform right there. I also accidentally died a minute ago whilst I was building that because full damage. Full damage is a thing. And I did also think about it. The mining laser is awesome for clearing this stuff up. It can go so far, right? And I've also set the magnet upgrade back back on for this so this one magnet silk touch costs like a lot more even if you're not using the silk touch if you know what I mean so that's why that is like that so now all I need to do is if I break this okay for some reason there's a weird glitch whenever I break that but it is fine interesting right so I can remove all of these, put down rails again. And before I forget, let's put this right there. It doesn't have a redstone signal, so as soon as that gets into here, it will just plonk off and then we'll get our spawner back. That's the plan at least. Uh, so if I do this and then I give this redstone, this thing a redstone signal. Is that how that works? Okay, there we go. And then we should see it. There you go. Now we've got our spawner where we want it. Cool. Now all I need to do is clean all of this up. And then we should be in business to actually get with blood magic. Uh, it's been a long, long road to get here. But we've managed to get here. Which is a funny feeling. Let's close that up. Oh. I need to put the water down. Oh, I didn't bring any water with me. Okay. I mean, I can just jump into the water. There is a couple of orcas that are, like, swimming about right now. And uh, they're kind of scary because killer whales, right? You'd think they'd do damage. I'm not entirely sure they do damage, though. That's the thing. I haven't tried yet. I mean, I haven't tried to be eaten by a whale. Sounds like a sensible thing to me, but... You never know. So I stick that down. Yeah, it forces them towards there. So I just need to break myself back out of here. And do a little tidy up. Eh, go on. Cool. Now I can rip down this whole structure I've got here. I used a ton of this warped oak. Oh, wait, what's it called? Warped planks? Yeah. I used a ton of those because I had a ton and they are not affected by gravity, so it seemed like a good choice for a building material. I could have used um, treated, I suppose, but we can use that for other things, right? Let's get rid of that one. I am no longer using precision mode. Uh, a lot of, lot of people gave some comments about that, saying I was on pre precision mode, and that is true, I, I was on precision mode. There is a squid right there. Anyway, right. So, this is the new blood altar. I forgot to put this on there. Uh, I'm going to have to get back up there. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm going to have to put this redstone link back on. So, I think last... Oh, yeah, and there's some water. So, okay, that's fine. Last time what I did was I put it on the, on the bottom... But now we're just going to stick it right on top like that. And then I'm going to give it blood magic knife. That'll do us. 
and I also need to shift click done uh, maybe I don't want to put the lever right there I can put it here for example turn that on that should start spinning and spitting out a bunch of drowned I hope uh oh this isn't good they're not spawning uh, I don't know what to do now then. I suppose we have to change our plans. Okay, I suppose what we could do is we could go into the nether. Someone suggested this actually. We should go into the nether and use the blaze spawner. Only issue with blaze spawner that I can think of is they float. And I wanted them to not float, if you know what I mean, and just like go directly above the uh, the blood altar so that's a bummer okay that that's something that you guys could take away from this at least don't move the drowned spawners because they suck <laughs> oh okay let's grab that I'm just gonna break this then because there's no reason for using uh, the drowned spawner I'm gonna have to rip all of this down this took me a probably about an hour today to set all of this up so bit of a pain bit of a waste but it is all good we're gonna soldier on as they say uh, and I will rip all of this down I don't need any of this now fine yeah we'll rip all this down and I'll go and set up something for the blaze spawner because we've got a couple of blaze spawners that we could maybe move one of them closer to the other and work it out that way and I can move the blaze spawners as well the reason that's okay so I did think about using blaze spawners to begin with didn't I but the reason I didn't want to do blaze spawners is because you kind of have to afk afk being the you know optimal word right there because you can't really really afk in this pack because of water and hunger because even if you're stood still they still go down so you can't really afk which is a bit of a pain but if we do that in the nether, we're going to have to have like a ton of water. This is salt water. We can get rid of this. Oh, nope. there we go. Yeah, you're going to have to have a ton of water on you. So that's the main reason I didn't want to do this. I might have to go and find another, another source of uh, like spawners if I don't want to use blaze. I need the blaze rods. That's the that's the big thing though. So. Maybe it is a good thing that we we do a blaze one. Okay, it's been a little while. I did go and uh, rip everything down. And I almost forgot my Igneous Extruder, but I uh, I still had this thing attuned to the area. Which was stupidly annoying, because I swam all the way back. If we pop... Oh, hello. If we open the map up. So, I was over here. I got in a boat, and I went all the way around to this waystone and then i had to go all the way back here using that that waystone uh, that what plate whatever you call it grab my igneous extruder and then swim all the way back around again so that took quite a while uh i also went around and i put all of the uh shroom lamps shroom what are they call shroom lights yeah put all of those back down because well now we've got a bit of light in the area it's quite nice uh it snowed as well so that's Bit annoying I, i'm not a big fan of the snow at some point i will put a roof on this i think uh but i've been thinking i know you could probably smell the smoke from here from my ears but i've been thinking about it and i don't know if we should just go to the moon i think that should probably be our next thing uh because i don't know if i can be bothered right now to go into the nether and set up blood magic now i'm not saying i'm done with blood magic i will come back to it i just think once we get to the moon we can set up a bunch of really good automations so the main thing i think is uh moon sand if we use moon sand in uh where is it one of these things the sieve so we need to get a resonant integral component, flipping egg. Stainless steel as well. We need to make some of this dash as well, which means we need to go to the moon because you get dash from the moon. Uh, all of these bits makes this flux sieve. 
And then if you use moon sand in that, you get all of these different like things. So pour hematite, that, that stuff. If you stick that in the flux compressor, you get raw iron. You can also get this powder, which turns into red dye. That's good to know. Uh, but you can also get some port copper and like a bunch of basic materials. But I think my whole plan now is we're going to try and get to the moon. And then we're going to instantly. So let's have a look at this. We are going to probably try and get to mars because then you get the better version and you get a bunch of cut emeralds and then further to that we might actually go even even further and try and get to venus because venus gives you like the rich versions of stuff and basically that's like stupidly good for us uh so i think moon preparations are in order we can always come back to blood magic that's the beauty of this pack right you don't have to do everything at the same time uh my plan was we were going to get some enchants and then we were basically not going to spend much time on the moon, Mars, Venus, and then Glacier or whatever the last planet's called. But maybe we should do the opposite where we spend more time on the moon and all the different planets and then come back and do some... I forgot to put some sticks in this, so this is frozen over. Excellent. Anyway, sorry, yeah, that's the plan. We're going to go to the moon, set up a bunch more automations. We don't have to use the, the big old excavators whilst we're up there. Although, we need one excavator. I might go nick the excavator we've got. In fact, let's go over there, because I have not cleaned this out in a while. So it's probably overflowing. No, never mind, we're doing all right. Uh, but what we can do is we can nick this, we can stick it on the moon, we can get ourselves applied energistics and then we'll be happy and we'll not be living out of our suitcases pretty much. So that is the new plan. I hope that's all right with everyone because that's not, not ideal, is it? I, I kind of wanted to get blood magic done. Okay, here's the entire plan. I need to make a multi-servo press. And the reason I need to make a multi-servo press is because these compressed steels are sheets of steel, which is double steel ingots. And we need a lot of these, I must admit. And you need to do it in a multi-servo press. And we need to make some stainless steel, so we do need to go get some chromium. We need more nickel as well. We know where some nickel is, so I'll go do some mining for that in a bit. Uh, what else do we need? We need to make a steel helmet, so lots of steel, lots of iron basically, to get this. That is a bunch of steel, need a bit of red wool, we need some more wool, and more wool right there. We need a bit of steel here if we're going to use this solar panel, which I think we might use on the moon. I think that would probably be a good idea. We need some way of um, storing power as well, so maybe an energy cube or whatever they're called from thermal. The more expansion thing that uses this. Flux cell. Yeah, maybe we need one of those as well, but I'm not accounting for that just yet. We also need to get all of these, like, we need the, the refinery, and the refinery turns oil into fuel, which we can then use to blast off, basically. We also need this NASA workbench, which is, that's like, flipping heck, that's 16. Yeah, no, eight. So that's eight uh, steel. Yeah, flipping neck. Eight steel per one of these. So that's 32 steel, 33 steel if we include the one in the middle for a NASA workbench. This is a lot of resource generation that I'm going to have to do, or gathering, I should say. I also need to make the flux sieve and the flux hammer. Now, the hammer, I'm not entirely sure we need straight away because I believe you can find moon sand just on the top of the moon. And then under that is moonstone. But, yeah, we're going to have to figure something out for that. Um, what's next? I think that's it. But, funny enough, the one thing that I'm really lacking on right now is a bit of copper. So, what I'm going to do is I'm on my horse... And we are going to go look for... This is not the good time to do it either, because it's starting to snow. 
But yeah, we're gonna go look for like a copper vein somewhere. Now I have to get out of my snow area. And we are gonna use our prospecting pick. And we're just gonna look around basically for some like I don't want to say the name of it. Malachite? Malachite, that's it. Or any of the other coppery sort of things that we can see on the on the ground that is. So I think I've been over here already. So let's have a look at the map. If we go down this way and we go up, I think that might be a good idea. So let, let's try and do that a little bit. And I have to avoid all of the holes in the ground as well. No! No, my horse! No! Oh, rip my horse. Ah, oh. We got some horse meat out of it. That's, that's really sad. Why, why am I taking damage? Ah, oh, I was literally like five seconds before this recording, wasn't I? And, uh, that happens. That is, that is distressing that our horse just died. Uh, Fine, we're going to have to run around and just use our eyes, which is not great. I could set up a, another excavator, but I really can't be asked. There's some silver here. That's pretty good to see. Get some silver in us. That is chromium, so we could set up our miner right here. I am going to mark it on the map. Um, chrome. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. We haven't loaded any of these chunks over here yet. And it looks like because it's winter, they start off... Damn it. They start off being all snowy. That's a little, little aggravating. It is winter, right? Let's see. Late autumn and you're already full of snow. Why you do this? I think that's a bit of a bust as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we should do in the meantime, then. Uh, we could... What else can we do with lead? There you go, let's just have a look through. Make some enderium. I mean, we're going to need to do that anyway, but then does this require... Yeah, this requires lumium. And lumium comes from tin and silver. I have not found any tin yet. Like, any big chunks of tin. I wonder if there's any light around here. I'm really sad that our horse died as well. That is, that's just sucky. Oh, poop. There you go, let's get rid of some of this bloody snow right here. Uh, ideally, what we would do is, as I said, we would go to, I don't know, somewhere like, somewhere that we haven't been before and get a bunch of copper using our miner that we've got in our backpack, in this wooden storage crate, but yeah, we didn't find any, so maybe there's a few that I haven't been to yet, so if we open up this map right here, and I go waypoints, and where's the main, ah, there you go, main waypoint thingy, copper mine, that's already, that's not been disabled, okay, sand, sand, yep, good villager, disabled, Copper uncovered. Ooh. That one is, if I remember correctly, it's down here somewhere. Copper uncovered. So yeah, there is a, a copper vein right here that is totally uncovered. That's where I died. I went over there and uh, something fell from the sky and just killed me instantly. So I need to get myself over there. Unfortunately, my transportation method has gone to an early grave. So what I will do is I will try and find, wow, I've got loads of waypoints right next to each other right here. Yeah, uh, I will try and find a good place. Where is all of my waystones? That's where I had a few more. It's a random chest right now. I could organize my, uh, my chests that I've got, but that's boring to, to watch on camera, right? So I'll have to figure something else out for that. Did I use all of my... I think I did. Right, let's go over to the diamond one. 
and we'll pick it up and I'll go over to the trader area. Kidding me! I actually found one right next to where the trader is. Where is the trader? Oh, those are all wolves. Uh, yeah, they're the ones that were attacking me before. There's loads of copper around here. Okay, maybe this is the area we do a big mine then. Ah, it's right by this dude. That's unfortunate for him. Ooh, I have another plan. Which involves us going back home. I might make a new weapon. Uh, we've got some black steel. So if I can make some blue steel, I might make a, a blue steel sword. That would be good. How do I make this? So black steel, sterling silver and bismuth bronze. Bismuth bronze. I swear I've got some, yeah, sterling silver, black steel. What was the last part? Bit of steel, regular steel. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't have any regular steel. Oh dear. I believe, though, I can use... Uh, where is the, the recipe for the arc furnace? Okay, let's do steel. There is an arc furnace recipe, so it's just that and some coal coke dust. Which we can crush. Haha. -ha. And we've got a bit of coal coke in here. So I need two of these. Uh, the reason I'm making a, a, a new sword is because I'm going to go deal with our little wolf problem. Here we go. Right, let's try this out for size. Is it this way around? I think it is, you know. You can always do it like that as well and it make it go twice as quick. This should get us some steel, which then we can use for this blue steel. Let's bookmark that. Let's bookmark, oh, hello, bookmark that. So I think steel goes in this slot over here. Did it just make two out of one coal coke? That's really useful to know. Interesting, right, anyway, we could put two steel here, four, one, and one. And is that gonna make us, that doesn't look like it's making us the, the weak blue steel. Sterling silver, bismuth bronze, bismuth bronze, sterling silver, black steel. Unless it's the other way around, like this. Aha! Started to use some energy right there, so we are going to get a bit out of that. Yeah, I'm going to try and make this sword, and then we'll make ourselves maybe a little bit of armor. I think armor would be a good idea. I don't think I've made any armor yet, either. Any good armor, at least. I made the um, iron leggings, but... Maybe we make a helmet or something, or a chest plate. Doesn't look that bad to make, to be fair. Well, maybe it does, wait. So that's four ingots. And some of this as well? Yeah. Okay, so that will make us 16 blue steel. So we should have enough right there to maybe make a chest plate and a sword. Is sword what we want, or is it crushing damage? There's a scythe as well, which is slashing damage. This is also slashing damage, so... Oh, we could also make the piercing damage. Hmm, I'm going to go for sword, because it's what I know. Oh, it's so easy making it this way, rather than the terra firma craft way, I must admit. Oh, I love it. So, we can turn these into... That is not the plate mould. See, always check. Always check before you do that. So, we just turn all four of these into the plates. Have I got anything good on my... No, I don't. I literally just have that gravity thing. Fine. And then I believe for this one, it's a double sheet. And for this one, it's also a double sheet. So we should be fine with just sticking two in like that and two in like that. And that should get both of them. And we'll have two double sheets. Two double sheets. Perfect. So just got to heat these up and use my hammer on them. And we'll get ourselves a uh, chest plate. So I was just wondering if this external heater right here would be a replacement for the forge that we've got down here. Is that a thing? I have no idea. Because that would mean we'd have a forge that's always on. And we could use it to heat stuff up all the time. I don't know how hot it would get or anything like that. I feel like that would not work. That'd be interesting, though, if they, 
you know, if, if that could be done. But anyway, I need to turn this into that. I forgot my hammer. Excellent. Let's put this back in here for now. No, I didn't. It was in my inventory. Flip an egg. So this, I think, can I stick this in and... Yeah, cool. So it's bend, bend, and then hit, I think, needs to be the the way that it works. So bend looks like that. So that's how far, and then a hit needs to go back a little bit. So we need to be this far away. Is that how that works? Yeah, so we need to be around this area. Okay, so bend, bend, oh, flipping out, bend, hit. Oh, so close. Okay, let's try hard hit to get it back a little bit. Bend, bend. Medium hit. Oh, that was too far. Bend, bend. Hit. Well forged. Ah, it's not. It's not perfectly forged, but it will do for now. I, I suppose. Uh, this one we need. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I can leave this one in here for now. This one we need to turn into the unfinished chest plate, and that is upset, which is quite far, and then hit, hit. So if we do light hit, hit, hit. So we need to be this far away from this. So upset. Oh, that looks like it's too far away. Fine. So let's do ups. That's way too far away. We were close though. We just need another hit. Oh, these don't even have like a perfect rating or anything like that. That's pretty good. I did take the other one out because, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I like that. Let's put that on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> I love it. I like the blue. The blue looks really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I took the, the first one that we did out because I was hitting on it too many times and I redid it and uh, then I used the one that I originally tried to use as the, the thing that bound this together. So this one right here, if you know what I mean. I bet that didn't make sense to anybody right then, but I know what I meant. So we do have enough blue steel to get a better helmet because blue steel helmets are, oh, I think it's for most helmets. They are a double sheet and then you combine that with a single sheet. So we've got literally enough right here to make when it comes through. A double sheet and a single sheet, so I'm pretty happy about that at least, because we have got a gold helmet, but it's the only thing that keeps the piglins away. So I would rather not use that for now. And I've got my uh, my suit on right here, the insulated leather, because uh, it is cold out. And one of those, and we got ourselves a blue steel helmet. Whoa! I look beastly. Right, time to go take on some doggos. Right, if I remember correctly, we are going to go to Trader, because we saw them down here. Maybe I shouldn't do this at night time. Okay, let's try this again. There seems to be even more wolfies over here. Is that a pheasant? That is a pheasant, brilliant. Oh, they're all asleep as well. If I kill one of them... Ah, poop. That's fine. We know where to go. It's all good. All good because uh, that actually gets us our food and stuff back. Like our, our health. Our health was low before uh, because we were eating all the wrong foods. Oh my god, snow is so annoying. <laughs> okay, we are right here. That puts all of this stuff back on. And I got my uh, got my shield on this time. We were we were doing pretty well, I think. It was not that bad, was it? There's only a few wolves left. Are they all going back to sleep? They are.
There we go. Cool. We got rid of a, an entire pack. That's good to see. Uh, our graphite is just over there as well. So we could go get that at some point. Oh, right. I'm going to put this back on because it's a right pain in the ass walking without it. Okay. So we are... Well, I just cleared this whole area out of all of the, the brush. Just went around punching all of it. And it looks like this area right here is where all of that copper is. So it's time to set up our create miner. So, well, you know the drill at this point. Pun intended. Right, I have spent quite a while mining all of these things and these are all now empty and I've taken them over to the base. Uh, if I shoot this back up to like a ridiculously high number, eh, that'll send that down really quickly and then it will stop. There you go, you can see the, the rope right there. You can see that there's loads of copper on this side and loads of copper on this side still. And we got pretty much half a chest, half a double chest worth of copper out of the stuff we've already done with this. So let's bring this back up. Doink! And I can turn that off for now. So if I pop back over, I also did some organizing and I did a bit of planning in my head, but that's going to have to wait for next episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.